Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Today we will learn about the types of transport, adjectives, nouns of measurement. We're going to clarify how to use the adjectives and nouns when we talk about the things that we measure. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. In our everyday life, we often use adjectives and nouns as we talk. We have adjectives and nouns that refer or describe measurements. They can describe the age, the cost, the depth, the distance, the height, the length, the size, the speed, the width. We have given you some adjectives here that you can use to describe the nouns with, that we already mentioned. Big, deep, expensive, far, fast, high, long, old, wide. Types of transport. We use different types of transport as we travel to different places. We will highlight some common types of transport. The tube, the bus, the riverboat, the cable car, the rickshaw. So, generally speaking, these are the types of transport that people use commonly. Next, we will show a text that you have to read. Please take your time and read the text. Or try to listen to me. And after we finish the reading part, we're going to have some questions that test our comprehension skills. Let's start. So you have a weekend in London. Lucky you. Here's some advice. Plan carefully and decide what you want to do. The city is too big to see it all on foot. So what's the best way to get around? The tube is quick and easy, but it's often too crowded to find a seat. Some people prefer to catch a bus, and of course, there's a great view from the top of a double-decker. If buses aren't stylish enough to tempt you, how about a rickshaw? The rickshaw rider will take you whenever you want to go. Sit back and enjoy the greenest way to travel. Or if you want to avoid the traffic, go by boat. River buses are popular and they move slowly enough to see the sights along the river. Back on dry land, you can use one of the many bridges to cross the river. Or if you're too tired to walk, use the cable car. The London cable car goes over the Thames at a height of 90 meters. The river there is only one kilometer wide, so it's a short trip. At busy times of the day, the cable car goes too fast to take good photos. At other times, the ride is slower and long enough to enjoy the view. Comprehension. Let's see if we understood the text that we already read. two ways of crossing the river. Can you tell us what were the two ways of crossing the river mentioned in the text? It was by bridge and by cable car. Let's proceed with the next questions. An unusual kind of taxi. What is an unusual kind of taxi in London? It was 
a rickshaw. So they talked about rickshaw as an unusual kind of taxi. A slow way to enjoy the sights along the river. Can you tell us what are these slow ways to enjoy the sights along the river? What types of transport do we use? So we use river buses. What are two ways to look down on London? They talked about busy days in this case. Do you remember? Try to think. It's double-decker buses and cable car. A fast but sometimes uncomfortable way to get about. What type of transport are they talking about? They're talking about a tube. Homework. Look at the types of transport. Write the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Try to write as much as you can. Elaborate in the best possible way. This was all for today. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Goodbye.